This year and every year, there are multiple crises in the world. When extreme weather brings heavy rains, there'll be flooding. When the rains don't come at their scheduled times, there'll be drought. Now we see these stories in the news and we're very concerned about the people, but if we're not personally affected within a few weeks, we kind of forget about these things. We need to realize that these events are not inevitable. There's something we can do about them. We seem to fail to realize that many of these disasters are not inevitable. They're the result of human behavior that has lessened natural ecological function over broad areas of the planet, mainly by deforestation and devegetation of large-scale landscapes throughout the world. Where the trees and grasses have been lost, we're artificially elevating the evaporation rates and the temperatures. And if we change our behavior all over the world, we can vastly help the situation. The techniques for doing this are actually quite well developed. It is possible to vastly increase soil fertility and function by increasing the percentages and total amounts of biomass and organic matter. It's not a magic bullet. It requires hard work and sustained commitment. But this same strategy helps to infiltrate and retain rainfall, reducing the incidence of flooding and drought. The problem has been that we've been looking at the soil only from the perspective of increasing productivity. If we look again at this with the goal of increasing ecological function, we can employ millions in actively fighting against drought and flooding and simultaneously increase productivity. The key is that we all need to work together. We need to revegetate the degraded parts of the earth and employ ecological principles in our agricultural, urban, and industrial areas. We need to realize that wealth is not coming from manufactured goods and from commerce. Wealth is coming from natural ecological function. If we understand this, we can base our monetary systems on ecological function. And to do conservation of the earth will be to protect wealth. And to restore degraded areas will be to increase wealth. This is the pathway to sustainability that will ensure that future generations will enjoy a fully intact earth. <laughs>